Welcome to Art with Kenneth, your ultimate podcast. Destination for captivating, demonstrations enlightening, art documentaries and immersive art gallery and museum tours. Our main purpose at the Art with Kenneth podcast channel is to share exclusive insights into artist Kenneth J. Lewis Sr.'s techniques. Subscribers have the unique opportunity to interact with the artist during live streams embark on a creative journey with us as we explore that diverse and fascinating world of art. Enjoy the experience.
Hello, everyone. I'm your host, Kenneth J. Lewis Sr., and I'm delighted to be the featured artist in today's episode, AWK 105. In this installment, I'll be taking you through part two of my free flowing boat series. We are almost there. I think one more part and I'll be done. So make sure to like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for part two and upcoming episodes. Now sit back, relax and enjoy the creative journey as I work some magic. At this point here, um, I'm starting to become a little bit more intentional. It's going to get busy and then less busy, more busy, and it's going to be a a, constant uh in and out flow of editing i tried you know to stay very loose but it's 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 kind of <laughs> it's kind of taking a, a a form and a shape of its own i'm just i'm just flowing with this right now and it's actually becoming more representational than i initially started i wanted it to be somewhat abstract but i just am really feeling how these bolts are coming out so i think i'm gonna keep going in the direction I am I may end up renaming this series when I'm finished Um, but again I'm using acrylic paint uh, at this point right now Uh, just doing a little putting a little a few markers in with with like uh, some uh, graphite Um, I didn't put any oil pastel on there I either use chalk or graphite or um, an acrylic pen so at this point I'm just using a little bit of the black paint putting a little bit of accents with the black and I go back and forth I'll add a lot of black and then take some of it away it's just a part of the process of doing a painting like this for me While I'm thinking right now, uh, please make sure you like, share, uh, and subscribe again to the YouTube channel. Uh, sometimes people look at the videos and they don't, they may not think to like uh, the videos and it actually helps with my YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, I'm like very, very grateful for, uh, you know, the likes, the shares, um, this is a pre-recorded video. I will be coming on live. Uh, I have a live video coming up next Sunday. And also we'll be starting back very shortly with the artist interviews. Um, I took a break from those uh, during the uh, the end of the holiday season. And I started doing an artist in residence at Art Council of Princeton. I'm doing a puppet making class. I had to build an eight foot high by... Uh, eight feet wide four feet deep puppet booth and i'm instructing the classes and we'll be having performances in february um for all of the participants it's really cool project that's one of the many things that i do but again i'm you, you see here i'm just free flowing uh just moving i move really really fast even though this video is sped up i'm actually moving fast in real time as well because Um, I don't want to think too much about where I'm putting the paint. I just want to grab paint and and look this next stage. However, I'm going to be working on each one of these pieces individually after I conclude part two. And uh, so I'm going to focus on each individual one and uh, we're going to walk through the process of, you know, I'll probably show you two or three of those as I finish them out and uh let them dry varnish and then take you through the process of what happens after i finish uh these paintings um how they're inventoried etc exciting So at this point right here, I'm just going to let you watch the rest of the video. We have a few minutes left. I'll catch you at the end of this video. Enjoy.
I had to come in at this point. Um, that's some uh, wax paper. And um, I put it on there and pull some of the paint off. And as you can see, I turned around to show you uh, some. I used those for collage and uh, it took some of the paint off. And I used the blow dryer as well. And it helps it dry uh, quicker. Uh, sometimes I put the paint on there kind of heavy and I want to take a little off. So I'll do that. Well, I'm coming to the end of today's work on there. As you can see, I'm throwing a little of the white paint, just getting some streaks of white paint on there. Just random. Um, coming back in with a little bit more uh, black. And if you could see right here, this is give you a better shot of each one of the pieces again. Uh, at this point, I would say I'm probably, uh, I don't know, 60% to where I would want it to be at this point. About 60, 70% of where I'm going. Um, a lot of this stuff in these uh, particular paintings, you're gonna, it's going to go away. I'm going to keep some things and there'll be some things added. The next stage is working on each one of these individually. So please like, share, subscribe, and they will all be for sale. That's for sure. And um, for your donations, $50 plus you get a print, a frame print and a mug. $20 plus you get a free mug. $5 to $19 you get a free print and the uh, shipping is free. Uh, this is one of my pieces, uh, abstract pieces I had here. Unfortunately, it's gone. Well, unfortunately, it's gone. And I also uh, painted this uh, grandfather clock here for a client. And uh, make sure you come up and, you know, set up an appointment at my studio. It's 310 4th Street, Ewing, New Jersey. So thank you for tuning in. Your presence is greatly appreciated. Please show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to my YouTube channels. Artist Kenneth J. Lewis Sr., Art with Kenneth podcast and KJL Art Sanctuary podcast. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on upcoming content. Your generous donations play a vital role in maintaining and growing the channel. You can contribute by capturing the QR codes in the video or clicking the link provided in the description. Your support means the world to us. Have a great day. We are so grateful.